Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. I'm so happy that you've decided to join me. Today we are going to learn how to make the star stitch. Now the star stitch is a pretty little stitch and it is this one right here and it's worked in rows and uh, there's sort of two things that are happening here. You're kind of making your star stitches, which is picking up loops in five different places, uh, on, going in one direction, and then on your way back, you're doing single crochet rows all the way back. So today we are going to learn how to make this pretty little stitch. I can see it uh, working in a variety of items from blankets to uh, accessories and winter wear. It's just a pretty little stitch, and once you get the hang of it, it works up pretty quickly. Okay, so for our tutorial today I am going to be using just a little bit of cotton yarn and to work the star stitch you have to work it in multiples. So for your starting chain will have to be a multiple of two chains plus one. So you'll want to have an even number of chains and then you will add one chain to the end. So today I'll be working uh, with a chain of 25 stitches. To work the star stitch, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to draw up a loop in the second chain from your hook. So I have one and two. You're going to draw up a loop in that second chain. And then you will draw up a loop in each of the next four chains. So there's one, now one, two, three, and four. So for this starting star, you have a total of six loops on your hook. And actually, in every single star before you complete it, you will always know that you've drawn up the right number of loops when you have six on your hook. So you've drawn up your six loops, one loop in each chain, and then you're going to yarn over, and you're going to draw through all the loops that are on your hook. That is your first star. Then what you're going to do is you're going to chain one. Now if you take a look at this uh, chain one up close, you will see it has a little bit of a hole here. This little hole that is formed by this chain is called the eye or the center of your star. And it will be important to remember that because you're going to be working in them when you work your single crochet row back across. Okay, so you've chained one. Now you are going to want to pick up another five loops. To do that, you're going to insert your hook through the center of that eye, through the center of your star stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. That's your first loop. Then you're going to draw up a stitch in the last loop that you worked for the previous star, which is this little loop here. And I find that in when you work these first ones uh, in the chain, in your chain, that that second loop that you're going to pull up in sometimes pulls a little bit tighter, so it might be harder or smaller to find. So that's where you're going to draw, pick up your second loop. So you're just going to insert your hook under that loop and draw up another loop on your hook. So you'll have three. Your next loop is drawn up in the base of your last star stitch. So it's in that last chain stitch that you worked in from your previous one. So you're just going to insert your hook and draw up a loop. You now have four. You will now draw up a loop because you want to have six in each of the next two chains. So one and two. Once you have six loops on your hook, you know you can yarn over and pull through all six loops on your hook, which creates your star, and then you will chain one, which becomes your center. And you're going to repeat that all the way across your chain. So insert your hook in the center of your star, last star stitch and drop a loop. Insert your hook 
under the last loop that you drew up for the previous stitch and draw up a loop. Insert your hook in the base of the last star stitch and draw up a loop. And then draw up a loop in each of the next two chains. One and two. Once you have six loops on your hook, you will yarn over and pull through all six loops and then chain one for the center of your star stitch. So you can see my star stitches are coming along nicely here. I will show you one more. You're going to insert your hook in the center of your star stitch and draw up a loop. Insert your hook under the last loop that you worked of your previous star stitch and in the chain I find sometimes it's a little bit tight. I'm going to draw up a loop. Insert your hook in the base chain of the previous star stitch and draw up a loop and then draw up a loop in each of the next one, two chains. One, and two. Once you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six. And then chain one. Continue working across your chain until you have one stitch remaining. So when you come across to your last, you will have one chain remaining. You're going to complete your star stitch by chaining one. And then you're simply going to work one half double crochet in that remaining chain. So for the half double crochet, you yarn over insert your hook and draw up a loop and then yarn over and draw through all three loops on your hook. You are now going to start your return row. To do that you are going to chain one and you are going to turn your work. Now I'd like to take a moment and just say if you're enjoying this tutorial please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly. So once you have chained one and you have turned you're going to work your first single crochet in the base of that chain stitch. So just in the top of that last half double crochet and you will work one single crochet. Now, in each of the eyes or the centers of your stars, so if you need to just pull your work apart a little bit, and you will see them there, you are going to work two single crochets stitches in each of those eyes all the way across. So you've worked one in the top of your half double crochet stitch, and now you're going to go to the first eye or first center, and you're going to work two single crochet stitches. So one, two. You're then going to jump to the next center, insert your hook, and work another two single crochet stitches. And you're going to do that again all the way across your work. So in each of the eyes, or each of the centers of your star stitches, work two single crochet stitches all the way across. I've worked a knot into my yarn, which happens. <laughs> so two single crochet stitches in each one across. Once you come to the end of your row, you will work one single crochet in that final turning chain. So I had 
have two single crochets in the last eye and then one single crochet in the last turning chain. So you've single crocheted all the way across. Now you're going to want to do another uh, forward row of your star stitches. To do that, when you start off your next row, it's a little bit tricky. You're going to chain two, so one and two, and you're going to turn your work. Now for this first star stitch, you're going to take a look at your uh, turning chain. I'm just going to grab another crochet hook and kind of point it out to you. So when you look at your turning chain, you're going to see in the second chain from your hook, you can kind of see two bumps, two loops. Altogether there are three, but there's one tucked in behind. So when you look at it from the front, you see one and you see two. These are the two that you're going to start to draw your first two loops up in. So you're going to insert your hook around that first one, that front one, so just under the single loop and you're going to draw up your loop. That's the first loop. Then you are going to see that loop just right in back there. That is where you are going to draw up your second loop. So you're going to kind of tuck your hook right under there, yarn over and draw up another loop. So that is what it looks like. So you'll have three loops on your hook two of those loops are worked in uh, the front and back loops of that chain stitch. Then you are going to insert your hook in the base of your starting chain and draw up a loop. And now I'm working under both loops. There's number four. And then a chain in each of the next two stitches. I'm working under both loops again. There's one and there's two. Once you have those six loops on your hook, you know what to do. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all the loops on your hook. And then you will chain one and you have another center of your star stitch. Now you're going to work similarly like what you did down below. You're going to draw up your loops. The first one is through the center of that star stitch through the eye. There's the first loop. Then you will pull up a next loop in your last loop that you worked of the previous star stitch. There's number two. Number three is in the base of the last star stitch. Three, I have four loops on my hook. And then one in each of the next two stitches. So there's one and there's two. I now have six loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six. Chain one and I have the center or the eye of my star stitch. I'll show you one more time. We're going to insert our hook in the first eye and draw up a loop. The second loop is drawn up under the last loop that was worked in the previous star stitch. And then the next loop is picked up from the base of the previous star, sh uh, star stitch. <laughs> You're then going to draw up a loop in each of the next two stitches. One and two. You have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six of those loops and chain one for your center. And so you are going to continue working in that way all the way across your work until you come to the end just as you did before. And then when you come to the end as you did before, you will remember you're going to half double crochet in that final stitch. And once you get the hang of it, as you can see here, the stitch works up pretty quickly and it's a nice tall stitch. So if you want a stitch that looks quite fancy, that has a closed fabric kind of feel and that works up quickly, this might be the right stitch for you.
one in the eye, in the last loop, in the base, and in each of the next two stitches. And then when you come to your final stitch there, you want to chain one and you will work a half double crochet in that final stitch before you turn. And then you know you're going to continue on, you're going to work, uh, continue and work that single crochet row. So single crochet in the top of the first half double crochet, and then two single crochet stitches in each of the eyes all the way across to the end where you will work one single crochet in the turning chain. So there you have it. That is your star stitch. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, again, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and uh, crochet something beautiful today. Happy crocheting. Bye.